hello. I'm Tally and this is Vic and we are personal trainers and two thirds of Girl Games and we're here in Pure Gym in Bristol with Lucasade Sport to do a Made to Move session. Thousands of you joined in with a Made to Move session last week with Anthony Joshua. So today we're leading our own bodyweight workout. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hello everyone in the studio and hello to everyone at home. How are you doing? Good, 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 good. I hope so. This is a like no equipment workout with all body weight stuff. So get ready to work really, really hard. So this workout's gonna last about 40 minutes and throughout we're gonna be answering questions from you guys at home, from Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So if you've got anything you wanna ask, just fire it over. And we've had a couple already, so Take it away, Tom. So Coyote asks, when you qualified as a PT, how did you get started? Did you shadow other PTs or jump straight in with your own? So I'm part of a company called ProFit Personal Training and with them you do a week's intense course and that teaches you all about business and everything you need to do to be a quality personal trainer. So when I first went into a gym, I had to shadow people a lot to really pick up on their skills so I could be like the best personal trainer that I could be. What about you, Tess? I had a similar experience and I have to say, if you're like just starting out as a personal trainer, don't be afraid to go and ask more experienced people their advice. Okay, we've got one more question. Let's go. So, how, how many training sessions a day do you do and why is it important to stick to that? I do about one session a day. I like to think it's quality over quantity. I'm thinking about 45 minutes to an hour session and if I really push myself, that's all I need to do and then after that, I let my body recover. What about you? I am the exact same as Tally. Just really listen to yourself, like work out, give it everything you've got and then make sure you do give yourself some time to rest. Okay, so enough of the questions. Now it's time to warm up. Are we good? Are we good? Are yes, we ready? get hyped, come on. Are we good? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so let's start. We're just gonna start with a nice jog on the spot. Okay, this is purely just to get your body moving. You guys have been standing around. You guys might have been sitting down at home. Just gonna get nice and mobile. Get the blood flowing. Use this time to really start to use your breath. So breathe in, big deep breaths in, and big deep breaths out. Okay, now we're gonna switch to little lateral hop jumps, okay? Thinking about moving your hips a little bit. If you can hear the music, go with the beat. That's it. Nice and on your toes with this one. We're gonna go back to heel kicks, here we go. Now let's get our arms moving a little bit, guys. That's it. Smiles on your faces. So we're gonna take you through about a Five minute warm up. Okay, we're gonna go back into those little side steps. Good. Just to get you nice and thoroughly warmed up. When you're training at home in the gym, it's really good to warm up, to get that heart rate up and stretch as well. So we're gonna do a bit of mobility as well. So you're gonna take your hands on your hips and you're gonna give me a nice forward lunge. I want two 90 degree angles with your legs, pushing through your front heel. Now not only are we starting to stretch your legs, but we're looking at a bit of glute activation. So we need to push through your front heel, squeeze your butt, push you back up to two feet. Okay, hands on hips, we're gonna do four more of these. And three, and two. Then we're gonna make it a bit more dynamic. So for these next eight, we're gonna raise our hands above our heads. Nice, lean back. If you can get a little back bend in there, start elongating your torso, start stretching your core out. Think about your shoulder mobility. Nice. We've got four more. Three, two, and one. Okay, I want you to take into a nice big squat for me. Hands together. We're going to start squatting down. Now, what I don't want to see is we don't want to see forward knees if possible. I want you to think back into your heels. Use your glutes, pushing you up. It's all part of your glute activation. All gotta come from here. That's it. So if you want to, take your feet a little bit wider than normal, just so you can open up your hips. Sit down now, we're gonna think shoulders back, chest up. Good, and again, we're gonna take our hands down, and we're gonna twist round and down. Get a bit of rotation in there, good. And twist, and twist. 
good. This music is pretty mellow, so I feel like we need to amp up the pace a little bit more. Okay, now I want you to take two feet, bring them back into this hip width. I'm gonna walk out for me. You're gonna give me a two twist, eyes up to your hands. Two twist, eyes up to your hands, let's go. So back up, straight back down, let's do it. Walk it out, and twist, and down, and twist, and down. Stand up. Good, so not only now are we stretching your hamstrings, you're getting the upper body moving as well, okay? Nice. Let's pick up that pace a little bit quicker. Here we go. Twist, down, twist, down, walk it back in. Good. Keep going. Make sure those eyes are looking at those hands as well. For that big stretch across your chest and your torso. I want one more. And twist, down, twist, down. Really nice. Okay, team. We're going to go on back onto the floor. Hold that plank. You're going to give me a nice quick set of mountain climbers. Here we go. 30 seconds here. Let's get this heart rate up. Let's finish off this warm up strong. Nice, keep it going. Get those knees up. That's it. Eyes forward if you can. Bum down. Now you're gonna hold that plank. If you can, full press ups. Here we go. Last 30 seconds. If you need to, drop to your knees. If you need to, drop to your knees at home. Make sure you're keeping that body nice and flat and strong. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your tummy. Control it down. Keep going, we've got 12 seconds left. 10. Come on, finish off strong as many as you can. In five. In four. Come on, three more reps, let's go. Three, two, and one. Boom. How are we doing? Are we warm? Are we warm? Are we warm at home? Okay, that was just a warm up. You're feeling it, <laughs> he's feeling it. So we're gonna start off with our first hit workout. The way it goes is you do an eight round circuit, but you're doing four exercises twice. You're working for 40 seconds, resting for 20 seconds in between, okay? So your first four exercises are, you're gonna start with a nice squat jump, touch the floor, you're gonna twist it around and touch, okay? Remember, weight back in those heels as you're in that squat. Okay, nice and quick. Now, similar to that warm up, you're gonna give me a press up and a twist. Press up and a twist. If you need to go to your knees, knees for press ups, back to plank for your twist. Okay, third exercise, my favorite. You get to lie flat on the floor like a starfish. Get up as quick as you can, straight back down to your tummy, lie flat, back up, stand up it down okay this is all about your function okay then we finish with full mountain climbers okay I want a hand on the outside of your feet on the outside of your hands I should say you're gonna swap over flat foot by your hand keep changing and changing and changing okay really gonna open up your hips burning your quads as well putting 40 seconds work 20 seconds rest are you ready guys is everyone okay. ready we ready? ready at home? Okay, we're gonna go. In three, starting with those 180 squat jumps. Three, two, one, let's go. And twist. And then you have 40 seconds here. So I want as many as you can. Let's go. Good, guys. Weight back in those heels. Jump up, twist it around. Come on, energy. Come on at home, I see you. Let's go. Good work, guys. Get big, high jumps. High as you can. Try Off to the floor. The That's it. 10 seconds. That's it, boys. In five, in four, three, two, last one. Woo. Okay, 20 seconds rest. If you weren't warm, you are now, yes? <laughs> yes? Okay, on the floor, remember it's press up into a twist. Are we ready? You've got six seconds. Use this as a chance to breathe. In three, two, one. Let's go. Full press up and that T-twist. 
Good. Make sure eyes go to hands too for me. Awesome. Good work, guys. Remember, if you're at home and you're struggling to do a full press up, just come down onto those knees. Keep your back really straight. All the way down, up to the plank and twist. And if you are in your press up position, make sure you're engaging your glutes, using your core, sucking your stomach into your back. Do all those press ups. Here we go, one more rep. Yes. Okay, third exercise, don't worry. The next 15 seconds, you get to rest. My life on the floor. How are we said, feeling? Are we okay? This is the best one. This is my personal <laughs> favorite. Breath, breathe. Lie on the floor at home, grab a cushion. We're going in three, Let's go. two, get up, let's go. Shiver down <laughs> and up. Now this is a really functional move, which means it's all about how your body gets up the quickest. So Vicky probably gets up differently to me and I get up differently to Vicky. I do a burpee. <laughs> she does a burpee, which is a chain. <laughs> it's gotta be no burpee. No do burpees. that safely, guys. Come on, faster. That's it, keep it going. You got eight seconds. That's it, keep, keep it going team, you're doing awesome. Three, two, one, yes. Okay, last one is those full mountain climbers. So take a moment. You got 12 seconds, deep breath. How are we doing? These guys Start to get here are regretting coming to our no. workout. <laughs> okay. Three, let's get that position. Here we go. Change, and change, and change, and change. Heel, push through the heel, that's it. Be nice guys, we're gonna have a look over here. Nice. Keep that leg straight, so not to bend that back knee, that's it. It's a killer this one, right? Come on, nice get flexibility, come on. 20 seconds. That's it, that's it. So so keep on like that guys. If you're struggling, get a full range. Get as close as you can, because there is Jump, 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 guys, keep it going. Here we go. Last turn. In six, in five, well four, done. three, two, and relax. Okay, that was the first round. What were we thinking? You're like, why did I sign up for this? <laughs> You're fine, I promise. Okay, one more round. We're going to be back into the squat jumps that we started with. Deep breath. In three, <laughs> two, In one, fashion. let's go. Remember, feet nice and wide. Keep that chest up as you touch the floor. Awesome in the room, how are you doing at home? You good? Keep moving. Now do not give up. Just because I'm in the room with you, do not give up. Use those legs, come on, come on, come on. I'm with you, let's go, let's go, 15. This is your last set of these. Well done. Do we'll that back up. yourself keep proud. Keep well Finish done. Finish strong. Let's Come go. on, boys. In five, four. Come on. Three. Come on. I see you. Come on. Oh. Okay. No one stops in the press ups. That's the rule. Next round. Press ups with your twist. Deep breath on the floor. Here we go. How are we feeling so far? We all good? We good? <laughs> Let's do this, here we go. Press up and twist. Press up, twist. Really nice. Now if you've got a strong press up, instead of giving yourself a T press up, here, take it into a tricep press up. So an elbows nice and close into the body. Good. Remember, eyes follow that hand. It's a bit of a side plank, really. We got eight seconds, team. How we doing? Come on, how we doing? <laughs> yes, and relax. See, I'm distracting you. It's my tactics. Take your mind off it. Don't, oh, wait, wait, wait. Lie on the floor, lie on the floor. I knew I put this exercise in here for a reason. Whew. Deep breath, we're going in five. Oh, four, here we go, three, two, one, let's go. Sit back down. Guys, it's the final, less than two minutes.
minutes of this circuit, okay? <laughs> so we've got about a minute and a half now to get through, and that includes the rest. So keep moving. Let's go. Remember, stand up nice and tall in between. Nice and tall. Shoulder down. Come on, manager, give me keep your energy. Keep going. 15 seconds. How are we doing at home, guys? Woo! Keep it going. Come on. Keep moving. Keep it going. Give on. me five more seconds, work team. Come on, girls. And relax. Okay. And the sweat started here. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm a sweater when I train. <laughs> I'm a sweater. So they put makeup on me today. It's going to come off. But I'm not ashamed. Okay. Last exercise. Four mountain climbers. Three, two, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Final minute of this circuit. That means you're a quarter way through the whole come workout. Come on, keep pushing through. Let's go. Let's get a jump in there. You can do it. You jump. can safely say, jump. That's after it. these, there are no more. Four mountain climbers left in this workout. Awesome, Michael. Keep going. Keep that car. Come on, jump. 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 Keep jump. moving. Go, go, go. Final 10. Let's do it. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on. Four. You're with me. No one stops. That's one. Boom. Woo. Okay, that is your first quarter of the workout complete. Okay, you guys grab a drink, we're gonna answer some questions. Okay, Tally, how many rest days should you take? You really need to listen to your body and what your body's saying, but I would say taking them intuitively, but about two, two rest days a week is on average pretty good. Totally agree. Okay. How often, Vic, Nicola Catherine asks, how often do you have cheat food? So, cheat meals. Me and Tally talk about this a lot. We like to call it a treat meal. It's a treat. treat is negative. Treat just means you have it every now and again. And my favorite is biscuits. I have to say, my favorite treat, emphasis on the treat, because I don't believe in cheats, is Ben and Jerry's. I'm a Ben and Jerry's fan. <laughs> Peanut butter cup all day, yes? That's a good one, right? Ooh, one more question before we get moving into this next phase. Okay, so active, healthy, balanced. Hello. Hello. Uh, I only have dumbbells and um, barbells. Oh, and barbells at home. Can I still see progress? Any recommended lifting programs? Well, I'm going to toot my own horn and say check out my YouTube channel where I have a ton of weighted workouts at home. They do have a lot of barbell and dumbbell work, and absolutely most. Um, exercises it, that yeah. we do in the gym can be taken into dumbbell or barbell form. I'd say just keep having a look online for um, ideas, but that's something we should definitely we even like on. dumbbell and barbell work is amazing because when you're on machines, you can take away your core. Whereas with dumbbells and barbells, say you're doing like a dumbbell squat, you've really got to engage that core to be able to get a really good squat. So I think you're you're on the right track. Active, healthy, balanced. Okay, so now it's time for part two. This is the strength. Phase. So we're going to work slightly longer with slightly shorter rest. 45 seconds work with 15 seconds rest. But these exercises are slightly lower in intensity, but should be a bit more working on that strength movement, okay? It is body weight today, so I'm adding in a little bit of tricky stuff, not so fun stuff. You're going to start with a nice sumo squat. So the sumo squat is a nice wide position, heels forward. You're going to stick your bum out. You're going to come up three quarters of the way, go back down, come all the way up using your glutes to push you up, okay? Yes. So it's back through heels, squeezing through my heels, engaging my glutes, sit back down, push them up, yeah? So it goes down, up, all the way up. Then we're gonna go into curtsy lunges, okay? So nice, big, like a backwards lunge, okay? But this time you're gonna step slightly behind, bend both those legs to 90 degrees, keep your hips facing forward. Once again, squeezing through that front heel to get that glute, okay? Last one, this is only three exercises in this round. I'm gonna finish with a glute bridge, okay? Hips up, okay? You're gonna march on the spot, like little kicks up in the air, okay? For 45 seconds, engaging those glutes. So this is to work on purely activating your muscles a bit more, working on that strength. Are we ready? Yes. 45 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Two rounds, that's six rounds in total. Let's go, three, two, 
One sumo squat, here we go. Squat, three quarters up, back down, use your glutes, stand up. I see that thrust. Here we go, get lower, squeeze it, yes. Come on ladies, this one's for you. This is the perky bum one, <laughs> yeah? Really it's push through those heels, guys, so you can really activate your glutes. When you feel the burn, don't stop. Keep pushing through, okay? That's when it's working. We always say, we do a lot of weight training as personal trainers, and it's all about progressive overload. So we're just constantly trying to overload your muscles. So when you're training and it hurts, keep going a little bit longer. Do two more reps, because that's your body is going to learn to adapt and change to that. One more for me. And relax. So you're not quite so bad as that first round, eh? Not so bad, not so bad, but you can feel the burn. We're going to go into curtsy lunges. We've got seven seconds. Let me just give you a reminder. Two, bent legs. Pushing through that front heel. Three, two, one. Let's go. Now keep those shoulders back. Chest up, weight in the middle. Chest now I really guys. suggest if you do go to a gym, pure gym guys and everyone at home, add in some dumbbells with this and you will feel the burn in your leg days. It's really good to targeting your glutes in a different plane of motion. So we all tend to do things forward and back. But we're going side to side here, which means you're just going to target the muscles in a different way. Really good. Now use your core, shoulders back, chest up. Keep that whole body strong, because when you work out, you want to use every single muscle you can, which means the more <laughs> muscles you use, you're going to get more for your money. Keep going. We've got five seconds, guys. Wait right in the middle. Take a bigger step back for me, rather than across. Good. Deep breath. Last one. Nice glute bridge. We're going to hold it up. So once again, you can sit down for a little bit. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Squeeze up. Now kick and kick. Kick. That's it. Really nice. Remember, weight in the heels of your feet, guys. Pushing through. And don't let your hips drop. Keep pushing them up. Hold them there. And kick. Kick. Keep it going. Breathe. Awesome work, really good Feel control. that burn. Good. Get your booties higher. Yes, listen to Vic. Come on, ladies. Three. Up, 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 up. Squeeze, that's Push. it. Push. Embrace Push. the burn. Squeeze your glutes together as much Keep as you can. Keep pushing up. Keep those hips up. Do not let them drop near the end. High, high, high. Come on. Is it nearly there? Three, two, one. Woo! Guys, if you've got any more questions, please. Send them in our way. We're going to be answering throughout this whole workout. So just drop a little message below and we will get back to you. Okay, last one. Well, I say last one. Last round. We're going to be back into that sumo squat. Let's do it. Here we go. Up and down and squeeze. Up and down and squeeze. Get a little bit lower for me. Feet wider. That's it. Squeeze up and down. Good. Really turn your feet out so toes should be you out. For anyone here legs. and at home, if you've ever done ballet, that's a bit of my background. Um, it's like a second position. Really it's like you sit your bum out, which your ballet teacher will tell you off for. Okay, sit down, squeeze it, keep the tension in the glutes the whole time. Guys, we need to come up a little bit high. So we go down, up, down, then. That's how we do it. There we go. Squeeze. You got 10 seconds, team. How are we doing? Yes? He's doing good. How are you doing? Keep going, last one. Woo, feel that burn. Yes. Okay, deep breath. We're going into those curtsy lunges. Second time round. Are we feeling good over here, ladies? I feel like yep. a bit of segregation. We've got some ladies over here, we're good. We're good. Okay, curtsy lunges. Let's go. Bend that back knee, weight in the middle. Final two minutes of this circuit, okay? Use this part of the circuit to start to get your breath back because the next bit, we're going all out. Oh yeah, Vic is going to take you through a hardcore hit. So take this chance to recover. Weight back in the middle. Two 90 degree angles. That's it. Take a step back for me. That's it. Squeeze your glutes Good, and stand. Nice. Good. Push through that leg. Push through that leg. That's it. Do that Ten heel. seconds to go. Enjoy this moment, I'm telling you. It only goes, I'll take it up from here, but uh, <laughs> I know it's coming. Okay, last one of this little strength exercise. We're going to go into our glute bridges. We've got 10 seconds. Oh, and then we're going to answer some of your questions. Okay. Keep them coming in, three, in, guys. Write them down on the Facebook page. Two, one. Here we go. Hips and kick. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you can always 
slow it down. So kick up, slowly down. Kick up, slowly down. Mess around with the tempo and work out what challenges you the most. So you could get nice and kick quick, but you could control that kick awesome a little bit more. So slowly down. down. Slowly up. Okay, keep floor. it going for yeah. me, team. It'll get you glutes. You're doing so well. Well Come done. Come on, at home. Keep breathing. Little Ooh. tip, guys. Make sure your weight is right keep back those in those heels up. and you'll really get those glutes. Ten seconds. Up higher, girls. Get Push. those glutes up. Three, two, one. Woo. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Everybody, grab a drink. Okay, Tally, so sometimes Lissy Victoria can only train three to four times. Others, it's every day. Should she train all seven days when she can't make it up? No, is the answer to that. I would say if you know you don't have, if you can't commit to consistently working out like six times every week, don't do it. Make sure you're doing, just tell yourself, okay, I can benefit more if I give myself like three or four really quality workouts and make sure you just really push them, keep them nice and intense and uh, you'll get just as much benefit from those than if you are if you're exhausted and you're trying to overtrain. Okay, next question is, how can I stay healthy when I'm super busy and don't have much time? You're so good at this. Okay, so if you're really busy and you don't have much time, there's so many things out there. So you can go to food prep companies, um, you need to just schedule your workout. So even if you can get 30 minutes, 45 minutes workout in three times a week, it's better than nothing. I advise you to start taking the stairs, start walking from, maybe get off the bus two stops earlier and mm. just walk that extra bit. Just get yourself moving. That's, it's, the better, it's better to do that than nothing at all. Absolutely. It's all about quality over quantity. Okay, guys, so we all know it's Halloween. So we're gonna play a little game of trick and treat. <laughs> Okay, so if you click on this emoji here, which is the trick, the final phase of this workout is gonna be super tough. If you click on this emoji Stop. here, which is gonna be a treat, <laughs> it's gonna be nice and slow, it's gonna be quite soft, but you can decide, okay? We'll let you know later. Okay, guys, are we all ready to get going again? So phase three of the workout is quite similar to phase one. So we're doing 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. It's nice and high intensity, okay? Are we ready? So. First exercise, it's a squat thrust. Come to here and then into a tuck jump and back to here. Squat thrust to here, tuck jump and back down, okay? Next exercise gives you a little bit of chance to get your breath back. We're into a bear crawl and we're gonna move in a square. So if you're at home, create a little bit of space. Keep your bum down, your abs tight. And next exercise is a ski jump. So we're gonna move from foot to foot, keeping that weight right down. Really embrace the burn in your quads and push through. Okay, and to keep those legs burning, we've got plyo lunges into squat jumps. So we're gonna go lunge, lunge, squat, together. And lunge, lunge, squat, together. Okay, are we ready guys? Are we ready at home? <laughs> Woo! It was leg day yesterday for me. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And in three, in two, in one. Let's go. So we've got our squat thrust into a tug jump. Squat thrust into a tug jump. Keep those knees out, guys. Big jump. And up nice and high. Has it two feet out, two feet in, jump, yes. Okay, so make sure you're really, really down, you push up through those heels. Come on, ladies. Keep going, guys. I feel ya. This time, one more. Woo! And rest. Woo! <laughs> Keep it up. The next bit, you can get your breath back. Let's take ourselves down to the floor. And breathe, we've got another five seconds. So next is the bear crawl in the square, okay? Getting ready and let's go. So during this exercise, keep your core really tight like Talia's. Keep your body down and just 
Be moving in a nice square. If you get bored of moving in the same direction, switch it up, rewind, go back the way you came. Whew. Come on, two. Don't <laughs> give up. I see you. Come on, one more. And relax. And breathe. Okay. Next exercise, we've got our ski jumps. Love me. Smile. Okay, and you guys at home. So we're going from side to side. Jump. Jump, nice and low. That's it, make sure you're landing to your feet. Guys, make sure you're standing in those questions. We've hashtag made to move so we can pick them up. Use those arms as well. Come on, get a whole body working. It's not just a leg exercise when you use your whole body. Come on, come on ladies. Keep it strong, keep moving. That's it, keep those eyes up. Chest up, last one, boom. Woo. Final bit of leg burner for this round, okay? We've got the two lunges into a squat, arms together. Are we ready, are we okay? We've got five seconds, four, Three, two, one. Use those arms again. So it's lunge, lunge, squat, together. Two 90 degree angles with those legs. Keep it going, girls. Squat, jump to the feet. Like we did with Tally strength work, make sure you're pushing through those heels with every jump. Come on, I see you, come on. I'm with you, keep it up, okay? Relax. Woo -hoo. So, how's everyone feeling? <laughs> I'm dying, if you're dying at home. It's good. Just suck it up, it's Halloween. Move forward. It's positive, like we said before. When you feel uncomfortable, your body's gonna adapt to that. That's you changing. Here we go. Okay guys, let's go. Next round, squat thrust. Remember these bad boys. <laughs> oh yes. Come on. Woo! Nice and high with that jump, guys. Come on. Push it out. And jump, well done. Keep it Good going. Job, Keep it going. Ten you seconds. And rest. Okay. Next exercise, you can take it down to the floor. Get your breath back. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay. Ten seconds left of rest, and then we're into our bear crawls. How are we feeling at home? Are you feeling okay? Give us a thumbs up. And let's go. Keep the pull really tight, guys. That's it, keep moving. Sideways. Get your bum down a little bit Forward. more, Tally. And Tally is demonstrating the perfect back roll. Thank you. <laughs> I knew I was here for a reason. Keep it going, team. Come on, Come on boys. No one's giving in today. Come on, last one. Back lunge. Woo! Oh, last time doing those. Last time doing those. So good, so good. Next, we've got our ski jumps, okay? Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> a little more, bit more rest, okay? After these next two exercises, you can grab a drink. Let's go. Remember, it's all about that single leg work. So really power through that single leg heel. Push up and over, one up and over, yeah. That's it, everyone. 
You're doing awesome. This is the last bit. Well done, Alicia. Everyone at home, I'm sure you're doing awesome. Keep up that hard work, okay? The hard bit is nearly over. Nearly done, guys. Two, one. Yes. Woo. One more exercise of this round. How are we doing? Good? Are we okay? Good? Whew. So remember, it's lunge, lunge, squat, jump, feet together. Lunge, lunge, squat, jump, feet together. Yes. Last bit, everything you've got, okay? Squat, jump, feet together. together. Use lunge, his arms. Lunge, jump, together. Lunge, lunge, jump, together, okay? Three of those heels. Heels, squat, together. Yes. Heels, heels, squat, together. Come Go on. Tell, slow, down, squat, together. If you're not sweating like Tally, you're not working hard enough, so it's pick up true. the pace. It's true, <laughs> Come on, team. We've got six seconds left. Do not stop. Come on, with me. Woo, relax. Yes. Woo. Grab yourself a drink, okay? Okay. And we've got some questions. We've got one from our third girl gainer, Woo -woo. Zana Van Dyke. Hello, Zana. Hi. <laughs> she asks, what is your favorite exercise ever? Oh, that's so tough. I have to say, I'm a really big fan of a Romanian deadlift. If you don't know what it is, go Google it. What about I, you? I love just a normal deadlift. I like to just lift super, super, super heavy. Awesome. And Kelsey, Morgan Frazier. Hi, Kelsey. She's my friend. <laughs> How long did it take to make your healthy lifestyle a habit? That's a really good question. Yeah, I mean, I think there's been times when the both of us have obsessed over this lifestyle. Actually, and I think maybe like the past year. We've become we, so balanced. Yeah, we're just so chill. Like, we know how to pick healthy options and we know how to go out and have a life at the same time. And I think that's the place in fitness where everybody needs to find. Yeah, I totally agree. I think it's all about the 80 20 rule. 80% of the time we make good choices, and 20% of the time we have treats. So that's how we maintain and build like good, healthy habits and a healthy lifestyle. Okay, Tally. So Anoop Thomas asks, what is the best pre workout meal? It's got to be oats, isn't it? It's got to be. I'm a biggest fan of putting my protein powder in my oats, oats. We've got many recipes on our Instagram, so go check them out. Okay guys, so if you remember, at the start of my phase of the workout, I asked you whether you want to have a trick or a treat for the last phase of the workout. And, <laughs> and some of you guys won't be happy to know, but everybody picked a trick. <laughs> so guys. I know, I know. <laughs> the next phase of the workout is going to be as Tally's was when it was a lot of strength, okay? But because the guys at home picked trick, we're going to be adding high knees, for 15 seconds in between the exercise, okay? This is the last bit of the workout. Six minutes left of this workout and that's it, okay? Okay, so Six minutes, that's it, let's go, that's it. That's the attitude. <laughs> okay, first exercise of this workout is nice and easy. You come into a plank and you've got two options. You raise an arm or you raise a leg or if you're feeling super sassy, you can raise both, which I won't be doing. Okay, press up with a three second hold at the bottom. So again, the harder version is gonna be hold one, two, three, and up. If that's too tricky, come down to your knees, keeping your bum and your back down. You're gonna come down for three, two, one, and push up, okay? Next and final part of the exercise. You come down into a plank. You take three steps to the side. You come up into a side plank for three seconds. And you come back down. Take three steps to the side. Come up, hold the plank for three seconds. And you come back down. Is that clear, everyone? So this Have is you really got it at home? Focusing on upper body and core now. And a bit of cardio in there with the high knees. You, you people at home, what have you done? Yes. We're so done here. <laughs> we are working for 45 seconds. In your 15 second rest, you're going to be doing high knees, okay? High, 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 nice and fast. Straight back down into the next exercise. 
six minutes, okay? That's all we're asking. And then we're done. And then we can celebrate and eat Halloween sweets. Okay, <laughs> are we ready, team? Final six minutes in three, two, one. Here we go. So remember, you're in a plank. You can raise your arm. You can raise your leg. Or you can raise both, okay? Hold that core as tight as you can. As you can see, Tally is in a straight line, okay? We wanted the core to be held. We want the glutes to be held. We want the legs, quads, hamstrings to be held. As you can see, Tally's shaking. <laughs> this is what Thanks we want, it. okay? <laughs> it's true, it means Keep we're working it up, hard. Guys. Now don't take the easy option with this. I know the easy option is probably just to lift an arm or a leg, but challenge it, give it a go. Okay, three, two, one, you know what time it is. Up, 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 Let's up. go. Hi, hi, hi. Come on, keep it going. That's it. We're going four, five, four, three, two, one. And back down into your present position. So whether you're gonna go into this position or this position, we go coming three, down. Two, one, up. up. And down. And down three, two, one, and push up. Hold it down like Tally. Two, one, and up. Awesome work, come on guys. Get up, 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 up. And push, here we go, down. For three, two, one, Well come done, on. ladies I'm over here, you. keep it going. Come Tally, on, you guys, three, and hold, okay? Two, one, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds left. Guys at home, use this time to really breathe, okay? Come on, I want one more minimum. Here we go. Three, two, one, and push. Up. Okay, everybody Woo. on your feet. Back up, here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Keep it going. Come on, knees, ladies, knees. Five seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, and down onto the floor. We are side, side, side. Hold, 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 and down. Side, side, side. Hold, 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 and down. And squeeze your core and lift up high. And squeeze, 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 and hold. Nice and still. Come on, keep going, guys. Now, if you want to make this a little bit harder, Try raising your leg in the side plank. Here we go, seven seconds. And relax. And rest. Okay, we'll give you 15 seconds between, between this bit until we go into the next three rounds. Last bit of the workout. Everything you've got, grab a quick drink if you need one. Are we ready? Let's go. Back into that plank, people, with that arm and leg raise. So here's a little trick if you want to really be able to do this exercise, okay? When you're lifting your arm, feel as though someone is pulling you out this way, somebody is lifting you that way. And with your leg, you're being pulled like that, okay? It really helps you to engage your core and maintain that position. Keep it going, team, keep it going, come on. We're so nearly there. Hold that core. Elon, get those legs and those arms. Don't take the easy option. And, and relax. Up onto your feet. And up, 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 up. We're so nearly if there. If your partner is doing this work at home and you want to push them, get your hands here, be your partner, hit your knees. And back down to the floor. Hold, 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 and down. 
yeah, it's so important to stretch your muscles out after you've worked them and to let your body recover. So let's start for me. I want you to go back into that plank for me. Okay? You're gonna lower yourself down into plank. You're gonna pop your back knees on the floor and you're gonna push up through your spine. Head back for me. Good. Now use the chance of deep breath. Breathe in through your nose and out. Now sit back onto your heels. Nice flat back. Dig your heel of your palm into the floor and then feel that stretch all the way down your back. Now try and sit your bum onto your heels for me. Really nice. Now get lower. Okay, Tao, I'm going to ask you some questions. And our first question gonna come into Ford Lunge. is from back near Pure the Gym in Cardiff. Okay? Woo! Hello, Cardiff! So <laughs> apparently everyone in Cardiff is wondering what your favourite music to train to. Oh, uh, I love a good bit of pop music. Um, I have, I'm a big Ariana Grande fan. I love her. Who <laughs> um, else? Any Calvin Harris, that kind of beat. Good beats. Yeah, yeah. Get back knee down for me, team. Hands to the, by your feet. Stay there in that leg. That's it. Okay, Tally, what is your best pre-workout meal? Oh, well, I said it was oats before, but if it's not oats, if it's savoury, I'm going to have probably like a nice like chicken and sweet potato salad type thing. I love stuff like that. Whew, okay, now I want you to reach up your hand. Do the open leg up there for me. It really let up. your back stretch Good. open your chest. We've done a lot of press up Two hands back, back down. Holding. We're going to come into a nice lateral lunge for me. You're going to crawl over to the other leg. Think that foot nice and flat on the floor, on your toe there. You're going to twist yourself around into another big lunge. That's it. Keep that back leg extended. Front leg is a 90 degree angle for me, ladies, over there. So bring your body weight back to 90 degree angles. That's it. Push your back heel towards no. the back wall. Okay, no, let really that back knee go that down. Leg. You should feel a nice big stretch in your hip flexor here. All those squat numbs today, you're going to thank me tomorrow. Good. Feet down for me. Feet. I always say feet when I'm in hands. <laughs> How are we feeling, guys? In the room. Are we good in the room? How are we doing at home? Give me a whoop. I'm sure we can hear you. <laughs> Reach up for me. Tell us in the comments below how you found our workout. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Do you want us to do another one? Good. Come back to the middle for me. We're just going to sit here, hands in the middle. We're just going to like a nice little rock side to side. Open up those hips again. Two feet, flop your body over. Okay. You're going to walk your feet into the middle so you've got two parallel feet. Okay. You're going to bend your toe, keep one, foot, one leg flat, one leg bent, keep that body flopped over. Use your head to keep it nice and heavy. Good. Now try and put your hands on the floor if you can, flat hands. Now swap sides, bend the other leg. This should really sit into your hamstring, into your heel, it should be nice and good. This if you're on so your toes, nice. try and go into the fingers. If you're on your fingers, put your palms down. If you've got your palms down, elbows to the floor. That's it, keep changing. <laughs> <laughs> and changing. And changing. Now you're going to let your body hang down nice and flop the body down. It's going to swing side to side for me. And you're going to roll up through that spine. Through the spine. You're going to reach up. Woo! And you're going to give yourselves a massive <laughs> round Woo! of applause. That was awesome. We got so super sweaty in the studio. And I hope you got super, super sweaty at home. Woo! We are feeling it. Thank you so much for having us, Pure Gym Bristol. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in at home. This has been so exciting and so much fun for us. And thank you so much to Lucas Aid Sport for helping us get more people to move, because that's what it's all about. And the next Made to Move session takes place next Monday at 8pm with our friend Bradley Simmons, so do not miss it. So goodbye from us. Goodbye. Thank you so, 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 so much. And yeah, hopefully we'll get to this again. Thank you again. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks so much, Thank you everyone. so much, everybody. Awesome.